Applications of differentiation. In this video, we are going to focus on displacement, velocity, and acceleration. You will find this on page 279 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Displacement, velocity, and acceleration. Every time you get into a car, you witness differentiation firsthand. Your speed is the first derivative of your position. And when a driver steps on the accelerator or the brake, thus accelerating or decelerating, you will differentiate again. If a function gives the position of an object as a function of time, the first time you differentiate, you get velocity. And the second time you differentiate, you get acceleration. So differentiate position to get velocity and differentiate velocity to get acceleration. This is a nice summary of this top. So you, you start with displacement. As soon as you differentiate it, ds um, by dt, then you get velocity. And as soon as you differentiate this again, dv by dt, you get acceleration. Okay, let's look at an example. The displacement is meters of a body from the origin O at time t seconds is given by this function. Find the displacement. Okay, the velocity and the acceleration when t is 1. Now, displacement, I will just substitute in the place of t in the original uh, function. So, I just substitute. So, the displacement after 1 second is 3 and a third meters. Okay, the velocity. Now, you must differentiate the displacement equation to find the equation for velocity. So, now I'm going to first differentiate and then I'm going to substitute 1 and the velocity after 1 second is 1 meter per second. And then acceleration, I differentiate the velocity equation to get the acceleration. Okay, so this is what I did there. So the constant just becomes 0, that's negative 6 and that's 2t. And then I substitute 1 and I get negative 4. So the deceleration is 4 meters per second squared. Or the acceleration is negative 4 meters per second squared. So if you say deceleration, you don't have to write the negative. If you, if you, if you don't say anything, write the negative. Or say acceleration is negative, indicating that it's actually then deceleration. Okay, I want you to stop the video. Just want to move it up a little bit. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do try now 21. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start. It starts with number A. An object moves away from O in a straight line. Its distance is meter from O at time t is given by this. Okay, let's just first write the function down. Two t plus 1 to the power of 5 minus 7. Okay. Find the displacement. Okay, now t is 2. So first let's just substitute when t is 2 in the displacement formula. Okay, so this is 4 plus 1, and that's going to be 5 to the power of 5 minus 7. Okay, let's just find my calculator. Okay, so 5 to the power of 5 is 3, 1, 2, 5 times 10, and then it's minus 7. 
Okay, this is quite a big number. Let's quickly write it down. So this is going to give me 3, 1, 2, 4, 3, no, sorry. <coughs> 3, 1, 2, 4, 3 meters. Okay, so I can end nice and say the displacement when T is 2 is 3, 1, Two, four, three meters. Point. Okay, let's move on to number B. The velocity. So, I take the formula, but just remember you must use the chain rule now. That constant will just fall away. Um, I'm going to use the short. I think you're good enough to do. So, okay, let's do it like this. Let's say ds over dt will give me v will give me, I'm doing this short, so first differentiate the outside, so 5 times 10, it will be 50, first write it as it stands there, finish it off, and 5 minus 1 is 4, and then multiply, I differentiate the inside, okay, that is the chain rule, it's the short way of the chain rule. And that will give me 50 times 2, 100, 2t two plus 1 to the power of 4. Okay, now I'm going to substitute um, when t is 2 <clears throat> and I'm going to substitute it in there. And that's going to give me a hundred. So this is going to be f again five. Oh, and it's again to the power of four. So let's just see. Five to the power of four. That's six to five times a hundred. And that will give me six to six to five zero zero. Remember that's meters per second because it's velocity. So we can end up nice again. So therefore, the velocity when t equals 2 is And then we move on <clears throat> to the last part. The acceleration, okay, so now we are going to start again by saying dv, we differentiate this formula again, over dt will give me acceleration. Okay, I can use the chain rule again. Just, just focus on this part here. I'm going to differentiate. So it's 4 times 100. So it's going to be 400. It's again the chain rule. And it's going to be 2t plus 1. I subtract 1 from 4. So it's 3. And now I multiply. I differentiate. So it's first the outside, then the inside. So that, And I multiply by 2. And that is going to give me 800 okay and now I'm going to say when T is 2 uh, the acceleration will be 800 2 2 plus 1 to the power of 3, okay, and it will actually be that 800, it's again 5 to the power of 3, just want to move up a little bit, 
want to finish it here. Okay, so let's go. 5 to the power of 3 will be 1 to 5 times that 800 and that will be 100,000. And that will be meters per second square. Okay, so therefore the acceleration when t is two is a hundred thousand meters per second square. Okay, and that's how you do this kind of sums.